What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys another video for Pokemon Sword and Shield. We are hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this rain team right here. This team was sent in by Manby. Manby, thank you so much for leaving your team. You guys already know the deal. If you want me to play your guys' teams, leave your rental codes in the comment section down below. Leave me a list of Pokemon. Tell me whether it's doubles or singles. And if you have the EV spread, send that in as well. This team is an awesome rain team right here. It has Pinchurchin on it, who is going to be like our little bread and butter here, kind of help us out in big plays, because it is Lightning Rod. So if they bring out Lightning Pokemon try to counter us, nah, so we're just going to Lightning Rod that up, boost their stats up, and get rolling from there. The Pelipper's here to set the rain with Drizzle as its ability. It has Roost, Tailwind, Scald, and Hurricane. It has the Charty Berry, so it can actually eat up a rock move. And I think that's a great decision. I think that is a great decision to give Pinchurchin the Focus Sash over here and Pelper the Berry because Pelper usually rolls Sash, but he can only really get one tapped by a rock move or an electric move. And if we take electric out of the situation with the lightning rod, we just give him a Charity Berry, we can give the Sash to somebody else. So I think that was a really good call in Mambi's part. We have the Gyarados and Ludicolo up here as our physical attackers and special attackers. We can always Dynamax either of those and do some big damage. Moxie on the Gyarados and Swift Swim for that big speed boost in the rain for that Ludi Cole. We got the Grim Snarl for a little bit of setup here. We got Fake Tears for Special Defense Drop, Fake Out for that Flinch. We got T-Wave for Paralyzes and Spirit Break for Stab Damage. And then in the final spot, we have the big boy, Draco Fish right here. Fish is going to do mean damage when he goes first. Going to be a 140 base move. It's going to be Choice Bandit as well, so that's another boost. And if it's in the rain, it's just, you're just not surviving that. That is huge damage coming out from the Draco Fish. And everyone knows he's like an OP mon with that move once you get him rolling. But guys, if you like to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Let me and Mambi know how you deal with it. Also, let me know for question of the day, since we are using a rain team, what is your favorite water type Pokemon? For me, it is the Gen 4 starter and Polion. Well, not the starter, the final evolution and Polion. He is so sick. He's just a steel penguin, has the armor, all that, has like the Triton Spear mask. Like, dude, it looks so dope. I'm a big fan of it. But guys, let's hop on to the ranked double ladder and try to get some teams with this awesome rain team. Match number one on its way. This guy has a pretty meta team. I mean, I saw this on the ladder a couple of times. It is the Dragapult Gyarados. Togekiss with the extra drill. That's Mole Breaker, extra drill. Uh, the Chandelure, and I don't think that's a Belly Jump Snorlax. I do not think that's Belly Jump Snorlax. But I think it's safe to say we can just go straight for the Pelipper lead and go Ludicolo. I think we can go with the Pelipper Ludicolo lead, get that Swift Swim rolling and the rain as well. I say we go Pinchurchin because I can definitely see that Dragapult rolling out with a uh, T-Bolt. And, and the Pinchurchin can cover the Gyarados too. And then in the final spot, do we go Fish? I mean, we could go Fish or we can go Gyarados. It could really go both ways. I think Fish could actually do some mean work here. Let's go with the Draco Fish in the back end. Try to get just rolling from there. We have... Or two, we have two special, actually three special attackers, and this is going to be a big physical attacker in the back end. So I think we are going to be chilling. I seriously think we are fine with this. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, you guys already know the deal. Head and link in the description below. Gene25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. I'm actually going to be changing that to five plus days every single week because I want to stream more, especially when the new games come out, like Animal Crossing and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I'm going to be bringing you guys more content and all that good stuff. So definitely head over there, follow up, and hang out with me. But it goes in with the extra drill right off the rip. Mold Breaker, Extra Drill. He breaks the mold. We get the Drizzle going. Um, I could potentially see a Follow Me into maybe a Rock Slide. To maybe a Rock Slide or maybe a Swap Out. So I am definitely going to set up this Tailwind. Just so we get the speed all around. He has no Trick Room users. And I could pop out into a Fake Out. Or I'm just going to go with the Hydro Pump. I mean, who could he swap out into? That is the question. Who is he going to swap out into? I mean, I should probably just put the pressure on the extra. Like, if he swaps into the Gyarados, that's still going to be decent damage with the Hydro Pump. So, yeah, I'm going to put the, the pressure on the extra drill here. Follow me, he's going to come out here. That's totally fine. If you want to drop a Rock or, like, a Rock Slide on my Pelipper, we have the Charity Berry, which is pretty huge. Hydro Pump comes through. Let's see how much damage we do this. It's going to be a big, big damage. Yeah, not bad. Pretty solid. Extra drill is going to go with the Rock Slide. Our Berry is popping out, so we will eat that one up. And then we're chilling from here. And once we get this tail one up, we are chilling. Look at that. Eat up all day. Unless you make me flinch, I'll kind of be mad. Bruh, this game. Trash can. Trash can of a game. Let's go here. I mean, I don't see that rock side really taking me out either. Uh, bum, bum, bum. We go for Hydro Pump. Or I can just go Super Effective Ice Beam. Because you know the follow me is going to pop out here. Again. No, you know what? I'm going to just keep the pressure over on the, the extra drill. I'm going to keep the pressure over on the extra drill. Follow me, obviously. Hopefully his Hydro Pump doesn't miss, and he's going to go for another Rock Slide. Hydro Pump connects. Beautiful. Okay, so Tokus goes down, and this 
thing is getting on my nerves. This Excadrill. Because I, I think he's going to make a splinch again, to be honest. All I want is his tail went up. And it missed me or something. Helper eats again. Show me you don't flinch. Helper gets the tailwind. Thank you. Thank you. We got the tailwind rolling. Um, so I know both my Pokemon should be able to outspeed here. I could go into a Hydro Pump. I could go into a Scald onto the extra drill and just go for a Hydro Pump and whatever he pulls out next. Really depends. I can see him bringing in maybe a Gyarados. Yeah. And it's got to be Moxie. This, is, this has to be a Moxie Gyarados. It's got to be a Moxie Gyarados here. Oh, no. It's Intimidate. That's totally fine. Okay. So that's even better for us. I thought he was going to be Moxie, try to take us out, and then roll from there. Um, extra drill might protect. I'm definitely going to throw a Scald into it. I have a feeling he's Sash if you're leading like that. And I could just go for an Energy Ball or an Ice Beam. I think I'll rather go for an Energy Ball since it is Stab. And we could potentially lower the Special Defense. But yeah, let's go into an Energy Ball. And throw it at him. Let's go. Ludic Ludicola should go first. I can see maybe a Dynamax Gyarados. Then I just roll into Pinch Urchin later. <laughs> kind of go from there. It's fine, it's fine. We have our Fish as well. We do have our Fish as well. So that could be type nice. But energy ball, I just want to lower that special defense. Because if we can lower that special defense, I can roll out with my boy pitch urchin and one tap that thing. I think we can one tap him regardless. But we'll see. We'll see. The special defense drop would just be a lot better for us. Energy ball does roll out here. Not bad damage, decent. Show me the drop. No drop comes out. Oh, you do outspeed my pelper still in the tailwind? Wow, I wasn't expecting that. I really was not expecting that. Okay, so Fish is going to have to come in here. I wish we would have been able to take off that Sash. Because I, I have a feeling he's Sash. He's got to be Sash. Because you know the ground move is going to come in here. We got to Dynamax your Pinchurchin. Pinchurchin's got to get the D-Max into the Max Lightning on the Gyarados. And I got to watch out for the EQ. I feel like the EQ is going to roll. The Fish's Ren is going to pop. I have no problem going into the Fish's Ren. But the Sash is the scary part here. Do I protect? I'm going to Max Guard. I am going to Max Guard. As much as I want to Max Lightning, I feel like Max Guarding is the better call. For sure, I feel like this is the better call. Considering I feel like an EQ could potentially take me out. And if it does, like say he goes for the EQ and I don't Max Guard, it takes me out. I kind of lose the match from there. I kind of just lose the match from there. But say I block this shot right here, take out that extra drill, even take it out to a sash, I can take it out next turn, and just roll from there, then have my construction up for the next turn with this 310 HP, and just be able to take out the Gyarados, let's see what happens here, let's see what happens, max guard, pops, go ahead Pinchurch, and show what's up, I love that lightning rod, Fisher's Run's gonna come out here, thing's gotta be sash, it's huge damage, oh it's not, it is not sash, oh baby, that's dope, Overgrowth's gonna pop, that's totally fine, we should be able to eat that up, yeah, Fish eats that up all day. That is huge. Max Lightning can fly out. I think we got match one in a bag, guys. I just played that one extra safe. Like, I just thought he was Sash. Like, you're leading with your extra drill. I thought for sure he was Sash. I wonder what item he was rolling. wonder what item he was rolling. Gotta be something crazy. Gotta be something crazy. Maybe a berry? Yeah, berry? Strong is gonna roll out here. I'm gonna Fish's Ren up on that, and I'm gonna just Max Lightning to the other side. Let's get him. Max Lightning. Get out my face, little dude. Fish's Ren coming across. Potential double kill here. I mean, this, this Fish's Ren is going to do a lot of damage. Rain, Stab, Choice Ban, Max Guard, that's totally fine. That is totally fine by me. Fish's Ren, potential KO here. Get him. Yeah, yeet, baby. Big damage. Big damage. See you later, Snorlax. Go on, get him out of here. Told you guys that was big damage. And we are going to end up getting this win because this Max Lightning is just going to take out this character. And the Fish's Ren should, oh, maybe not anymore. But it's still going to do a decent amount of damage as we will outspeed it. Even though it's not very effective. But I don't see you one-tapping my boy up. Especially since you're not dying max. GG! Match one in the bag. Pinchurchin coming up clutch, dude. Pinchurchin just adding that pressure. He didn't really, like, have a lot of KOs. But he's here. He's here having a grand old time. And Drinking Fish comes up big as well. But we kind of played that one pretty well. We played that one pretty well. We started off with that range squad. Kind of got things rolling. Got that tailwind. Rolled out from there. This thing outspeeds us. That thing really outspeeds my Draco Fish. That's pretty, that's pretty crazy. Fish's Ren comes out here. Max Lightning. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Do your thing. Just stole out this match. We'll get a little bit of HP back. Oh, man. This dude. This dude. He's got to be going after my fish. We're going after my Pinch Urchin. Oh, we coming in with that hot thunder. Hot thunder coming in. And the Fish's Ren's going to bounce here as well. 
Yo, he's gonna bounce down. He's probably gonna paralyze whatever Pokemon it is. Draco Fish eats that up. Dude, what did I say? Like, I'm a fortune teller. Like, that's just my luck. Like, he just gets all that stuff. Vicious Ren, that's still a decent amount of damage. And then the Thunder rolls through. Does it land? Yes, it does land. Pinchurchin with the final KO here. Boom, baby. Thunder out of here. Good game. Match one in the bag, dude. That was nice. I really do like this rain team. I really do like how it's set up with that Pinchurchin and the Draco Fish here. And you can actually roll it out many different ways with the Gyarados. You can switch out the Gyarados for the Fish. So, Pinchurchin is going to have to get rolling out here because he... Potentially has a lot of electric with that Rotom that the Roudon can learn T-Bolt, Conqueror with Thunder Punch, same thing with that Dragapult can also learn T-Bolt. So Pichurchin's gotta come. Do I start off with Rain? I say we do start off with Rain. And just get the Ludicolo in there, and potentially if he goes into an electric Pokemon, we can just swap in the Pichurchin with the Lightning Rod. Then I kinda wanna go Gyarados here. I feel like Gyarados could have a lot of coverage here and do some work. That should give us a speed boost as well. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we are chilling with this team. And if he wants to yawn my Gyarados eventually later with the Tokus, we have the Lumberry as well, which actually works wonders. It works wonders, dude. Lumberry is so good. I love the Lumberry, especially when, like, against, like, Butterfree teams, they want to put me to sleep. Like, nah, son, dude. We'll just Lumberry that at one out. Take out your Butterfree and kind of, like, just wrap up the match from there. But here he goes. Meowstic and Togekiss. Meowstic and Togekiss. Dude, shiny Meowstic, one of the coolest looking shinies. That is gorgeous. That, like... Faint gold looking on him it looks dope. It's like that really bright yellow with like a little like shiny tint to it. It looks dope. It looks dope. Um, I am gonna set up the tail one. He has no trick room users, right? Let me check. I mean, unless Meow sticks a trick room user, that could be a trick room user. I'm gonna wait it. I'm gonna wait this one. I'm just gonna go for a scald into this Meow stick. I can see if maybe it follow me. And I could Dynamax. I think I'm gonna wait a turn. I think I am gonna wait a turn. I'm gonna double into the Meow stick. Let's maybe see if follow me. Or Dynamax Togekiss. But I wonder what the Meowstic is rolling. Here comes the Dynamax Togekiss. It has to be follow me into the Dynamax Togekiss, into the Airstream on my Ludicolo. We get the speed advantage, and then we can set up the Tailwind next turn. And then get the potentially get the Gyarados in there, or my Pinchurchin. Whichever way, I really do want to go with this. Unless you want to go try to put the Drought out, but I see no point of actually doing that. Actually, it would be pretty good if he gets the Drought out. But we have the speed advantage. The Fake Out's going to fly over here. That's fine. We're not even Sash. We're not even Sash. Hydro Pump. No, dude. No, dude. No. Come on. Come on. We missed a Hydro Pump. We missed a Hydro Pump, dude. Come on. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'll go for the Tailwind here. Maybe I should have just faked out. Uh. Guess I'll go for the Meowth Stick again. Ludico is going to go down here. That's rough. That is rough. We miss a Hydro Pump right off the rip. Come on, man. That would have been nice damage. That would have been nice damage. Okay, so what's he going to go for now? He's probably going to take out my Pelipper. I, as long as I can get up this Tailwind, that would be nice, but he's going to outspeed me. He's going to outspeed me here. Oh, no. So hopefully we can eat up a shot. Hopefully we can eat up a shot. I think we can, unless you double into us. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. But, dude, that is so whack. That is so whack. You guys know that. That is crazy. I feel like I'm always getting the bad end. He's going to swap. He's going to swap into whom? The Duraludon. Okay, that's not very effective, but... Yeah, he's going to be able to eat that one up. Smart smart swapping by him. Let's see what happens here. Hydro Pump's going to come out here. There we go. It landed finally. But now we saw what we were trying to do. Still, not bad damage onto the Duraludon. Focus goes for a max airstream on who? My Ludicolo again? That's chilling. We will be able to get off this Tailwind, which is pretty big. And then I can get my Gyarados out here. I'm going to get my Gyarados out here as well. My Gary the Gyarados. As this Max Geyser is going to be able to do some big damage. Um, and then I'm going to swap the Pelipper out here next turn. To potentially get Rain in later. And I think that the route I might go for a T-Bolt. So we're going to go for that. Get out there, Gyarados. Get out there, my dude. Let's see if we can read the lightning rod here. That would be pretty dope. But we got a Dynamax here and swap. So swap into not Ludicolo. He is dead. He is dead. I like how they just say fainted on the side. They should just say murked. Got murked. Dead. <laughs> then we could D-Max and I could just go for a Max Geyser. Or I can start boosting our speed. What do I really want to do here? That's the real question. I mean, lightning's not going to really do too, too much. I feel like he's going to come across... This way, so I'm gonna go after this Tokus. I really want to do some damage on this Tokus right here. I feel like he might max guard. 
But hopefully it does go for the lightning move. We can soak that up with the lightning rod and then get rolling with the pinch urchin. And then we have a Pelipper in the back for when the rain ends. We can send it once again. Get the rain going. Again. I think we only have two more turns left in this. Or three. We might have three. I think it's three because he Dynamax right on early on. We Dynamax here. Show me the Thunderbolt from the Duraludon. Or is he reading me? And he's like, dude, I'm just going to go into like a Draco Me or something along those lines. That would be a good read. That would be a good read. But Gyarados comes up big. Look at his mouth. Dude, he is such a cool Pokemon. Definitely one of those Gen 1 Pokemon that, like, last all the way through. And it was just like, dude, he's cool in every generation. And he just has to be on every single game. He's just dope. Geyser does roll. We do outspeed, which is type nice. How much damage are we going to do? Max Geyser in the rain. Stab. Not bad damage. On a D-Max Togekiss. And show me the T-Bolts coming out here. Airstream's going to fly into my Pinch Urchin. Oh, into my Gyarados. We'll eat that one up. And show me the Lightning Rod, please. Please show me the Lightning Rod. Or the T-Bolt. That'd be dope. Come on, Duraldon. Do it. Do it, baby. Dracomir. It misses, though. It misses. Pinchurchin avoids it. That's type nice. That's type nice. I'm going to just go into a Thunder on the Togekiss. And then go into a nice little... We're going to a Quake here. We're going to a Quake. Potential KO here. We're going to a Quake on the, on the Duraldon. Oh, dude. Are you going to go for a follow me? That's scary. Do not go for a follow me. It yawns. Okay. That's fine. It yawns. As long as it didn't go for a follow me. We're going to go for this Quake. Can we take this thing out? If we take this thing out, this could be good. This could be potentially good. Take it out. Yes, Gyarados. Yes. Let's go, baby. Pitchurch is going to get off a nice Thunder here. Potentially take out this Togekiss. That is huge. That is huge. And if we just take out this Togekiss, I feel like we have this one in the bag. I know my boy's going to go to sleep, my Gyarados. But he has that Moxie boost, and my Pinchurch hits pretty hard as a special attacker. And we still have our boy in the back end. We still have the dude, the Paloopers, in the back end. Go. Boop. Yes! Dude, this little sea urchin. This little sea urchin. You guys ever saw Surf's Up? That is like the best, one of my favorite movies, Surf's Up. I always loved it as a kid. But the little sea urchin in the water, he's like, he's like, when uh when the penguin stepped on his foot, he's like, stepped on me. The dude was dancing on me. Look at my look at my uh spikes. The broken, broken, gone, gone, broken, broken, broken. <laughs> Yo, dude, that scene cracks me up every single time. This cracks me up every single time. But who do you go into? Meowstic and Rotan. And Rotom, I am going to T-Wave up on... Can I T-Wave the Rotom? I'm not even going to play that card. I'm not even going to play that card. I mean, Thunder Stab. I could protect. I could protect. And we have one more turn here. I think he's going to protect his Rotom. To be honest, I'm going to just go after his Meowstic. I'm going to go after his Meowstic. The Pichurchin protects here. What is the Rotom doing? Is the Rotom protecting as well? Meowstic goes for a T-Wave. We are lightning rod it, my dude. Give me that. Give me that. Get out of here. Max Geyser comes through. Might be Sash. We'll see. We'll find out in just a second. Oh, no Sash. Big plays. Lightning rod Pinchurchin, dude. Coming up big. Gonna go two in a row here. Moxie boost once again. Love to see it. We got big attack stats. Oh, T-Bolt. Oh, double lightning rod. Give me all the electricity. Give me all the electricity. All of it. Give it here. Now you have to either go into a water move or an electric move. Well, my Gyarados is slumped. Slumpy poo. And look at that, boy. Lumberry, like I said in the beginning. Lumberry's going to come up clutch. Lumberry is going to come up clutch. Huge plays. Huge plays. Pinchurchin, Leman. Coming up big again. Gyarados coming in. Like I said, we can roll either way with the Gyarados or the Dracofish. Dracofish came up big in the first battle. Now the second battle here. We have Gyarados coming up big. Uh, just a nice little thunder. We do not have uh, Power Whip, which Power Whip is nice, but I think I'd rather have it over Earthquake. But Max Quake did come up big here as well, too. But there we go. He canceled the battle. Now we can hop into the third and final battle and try to go three in a row with his team. This guy's running a little bit of rain team as well. Okay, a little bit of a little mirror matchup. But if you guys are hanging out with me in the third and final battle, give me a little bit of hashtag rain squad in the comment section down below. Let's me know who watches the videos all the way through and who hangs out this long. But, who do I think he's going to leave? Do I think he's going to Pelper? I might just go with my Pelper right off the bat. I am going to bring my Pinchurch in. Um, I want my Ludicolo here for that Ice move. Is that Cell? Is that the Cell Gore or is that the... I think it's the Cell Gore. There's, there's two of them. I get mixed up. I get mixed up with those two Pokemon. But I think that's the Cell Gore. And... Bum, bum, bum. I don't know who to lead here. I really don't know. I definitely... I think I'm going to go Pelper. Get the rain going right, right and early. Ludicolo. That, that Dreadnought is Swift Swim. That's his hidden ability. He has to be holding Swift Swim. 
Um, who do I go from here? I want that pinch urchin, and then I think I might go Draco Fish. I think Draco Fish can be big here. Actually, I don't know. Do, 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 do. I think Gyarados. Get that coverage. Oh, let me click it in. I got one second. Bang! Got it. Got it. Got the got the team off just in time. I always like look at the time and I feel like I have no time. Like every time, it's like, wait, I have 10 seconds left. What happened? But like I said, they should add a, like a big timer like at the end of like at the end of your moves. They show like 10, 9, 8. Like, come on, why don't they do that for picket teams? It is more important than that move. But who does he go? Does he go Pelper as well? He goes Hydreigon. That is totally fine by me. I can send an Ice Beam across. Or do I D-Max? I might D-Max. This is a quick D-Max right off the rip. Because we will have the speed advantage. And then we could... Like, if he swaps, this Ice is still doing some mad damage to something else. So, I'm going to go for the Tailwind. A little bit of Tailwind action. And I'm going to D-Max going to the Max Hailstorm. But I do change up the rain. No! Mm. But is it worth it? Is it worth it? It is. We gotta get the Hydreigon out the way. We have to get the Hydreigon out the way. Maybe I should've just swapped out the Pelipper and then swapped him in next turn. That um, might be the play. But we will see what happens here. Maybe I should've just went straight for an Ice Beam. That could've been the better call. Straight Ice Beam. Potentially could've taken it out, but he does withdraw the boy. What are you going into, my dude? What are you going into? It's got to tell. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Gothel could potentially be a Trick Room Setter. I know it probably has Fake Out, so I might go for a Fake Out next turn on my Pelipper. So I might just swap regardless. I might just swap regardless. But it's fine if we do get the rain out of here. Because we can just uh, we have the Tailwind going out. So we'll just Tailwind, bang, get our Speed Advantage back, and then set the rain next turn. For our other Mons. Hailstorm flies through. Let's get it. Let's get it. Do some damage, baby. Nah, oh, yeet. Nothing. <laughs> but it was uh, we just tried to put the pressure on that Hydreigon. Forced the swap. Maybe we should have made the read and just went to the uh, the Max Geyser. Volt Switch comes in here. Get out of here, dude. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Who are you going to go into from here? Who are you going to go into from here, my dude? Look at Ludicolo Cole with his little palm dance. He's like, yeet. Slows down. Yeet. <laughs> yeet. I love it. I love it. I love when Pokemon do like little dances like that. Like hit him on top. Does it awesome. Are you trying to bait another one? Trying to bait another one, my dude. We got this tailwind up now. What you want? What you want? Um, bump, bump, bump. Do I predict a bait shot? And just go into the geyser again. Get the speed advantage. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going for the hurricane. I'm going to double into the goth hill just in case we don't take it out. And I'm going to set the rain again. I'm going to set the rain once again. I might Dynamax is hide you on. Maybe I should just drop the Hailstorm on it. Maybe I should just put the pressure back on. But I feel like he might just swap again. Trying to waste my Dynamax here. I feel like he's already invested in wasting my Dynamax. And he's going to try it again. Yep. Yep. Let's go. We'll get this rain back going. He's going to go into it and show his fourth to final. Or is he going back in the real time? He's going to show his Swift Swim, boy. And we have the Tailwind. So we are chilling. We are chilling. We have the Tailwind and we'll have our Swift Swim Ludicolo here. We can do some work. Good thing we did go into the Hurricane here. And he's not going for a fake out with the Gothitelle. So Hurricane will be 100% and it should be able to take out this, uh... Mm, maybe not now. We'll see, we'll see. How much health do you get back? That Citrus? We might be able to take it out. Let's see what he goes for. Is he going for a T-Bolt? We do get that out of speed. But, can we take it out? Come on, Pelper. Confuse? Confusion? No confusion. Trick Room comes in here. Okay. Um, Trick Room is going to come in here. I'm kind of scared of that Dreadnought. Dreadnought's probably going to D-Max now. And my Pelper might be able to go... Before that Dreadnought. But I want this. I want you out of here. I'm going to go for an Overgrowth. I'm going to go for an Overgrowth. Just in case we do land it. And we can get some health back. Oof. This is scary. This is scary, guys. going to D-Max his Swift Swim, boy. He's going to go first. Because I I'm going to be fast Because I have the Tailwind as well. Okay, so Trick Room's Brain Team. It's working out pretty well for him. Dreadnought is a beast. I actually haven't used a Hidden Ability Dreadnought yet. But he does work out good. I really do like Barrish Scooter. Barrish Scooter is my favorite Pokemon for a rain team. So I really do like Barrish Scooter considering he's so fast. He hits like a truck. Helping Hand is going to pop. Show me going for a Rockfall on my Pelipper. Let's see what happens. We go for the Scald. We do outspeed or we are slower than the Dreadnought. The Gothitelle goes down. And show me go for a rock, the Rockfall because Charlie Berry could be clutch. He does go for the Rockfall. Oh, on my... 
okay, all my Ludi Cola. It's fine. Oh, Ludi Cola does not eat. Dang, that's a heaping amount of damage. Is Gigantamax, uh, Dreadnought? Is he, what's it called? Is he allowed in Season 2? I think he might be for Season 3. Actually, no, I actually didn't see his name on the list. But I forget his move. I forget his G-Max move. I love, like, all the G-Max moves. Uh, Pinch Archon could work out here. Pretty well. And we can just save the Gyarados for the back, because this thing does have Rock Ball. I am sashed. I am sashed here. I could drop a Thunder. Goes into the Mo. I mean, we are Lightning Rod, so that will help us out a little bit. He's probably going to try to drop a Rock on my Pelper. So I am going to Roost here, just to waste out a turn. And go back to Full Health next turn. Actually, we will not survive another Rock, so... Uh, bump, 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 bump. Go for a Hurricane. I think Hurricane might be the call over on the Rotom. And I could go for a Thunder right on this boy. Right on this boy right here. Let's see what happens. I think I think he is gonna go Rock Ball. And does he think does he know that we're lightning rod? I would love for him to go for that T bolt, us soak that one up. And then him go for a rock fall and my pelper eat it up with the Charty Berry. The Charty Berry is wonderful. I that is probably my favorite th part of this team is that he, he went for the sash here. But he is the slowest here. Pinchurchin does some nice damage with the thunder. Rockfall is going to come through. Oh, my Pinchurchin. Leave me alone, my dude. Leave my Pinchurchin alone. Sash is going to come through, but we are going to go down to the, what's it called? The Storm, which is tough news. Show me. Go for the T-Bolt. Leaf Storm. Oh, you little booger. But you are dropping your special attack. Let's just take us out. Wow. Wow. Big damage. We're going to lose this one here. Pinchurch is going to go down here, and it's going to be a 3v1, I think. 3v1. Pinchurchin, No. Pinchurchin, no! If he would've just went for my Pelipper, but that was a smart play to get my Pinchurchin out the way. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. Telling us, Peter. And Gyarados is gonna fly through here. I mean, EQ does, like, nothing against the Rotom, so there's no point in going into it. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, this match is over. I'll just go for a Waterfall here. I'll let my Gyarados go out in peace here. Give him the salute. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Rest in peace, Gyarados. My boy. Rest easy. But, dude, GG to this guy. Good match there. He played that one very well. That was kind of like, that threw me off a lot because he had, like, Trick Room and Rain, but he did work well. That Dreadnought with that hidden ability did some work. 2-1 and one with this team. This is probably my favorite rain team I've played so far. I really do like the Pinchurchin and the Lightning Rod here. And the choices of the item with the Pelper with the Charty Berry. And then Pinchurchin gets the Focus Ash. That was really good. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.